Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Richard from Trailline, and in today's video, we'll be talking about weekend routines, which are an essential component of a profitable and consistent trading system. Uh, so here's what we'll cover in today's video. First, how professional traders prepare key elements of a weekly routine, reviewing past trades, determining market conditions, idea identification, and of course, some key takeaways. So first, getting into how professional traders prepare. Uh, basically, if you want to be um, an excellent trader and continuously improve um, and get better performance year after year, you have to treat trading like a business. You have to put in the work and make sure you're reviewing yourself, your past decisions, and kind of always striving to improve upon your past self. And a lot of this work is done basically outside of market hours on the weekends, like we're talking about today, as well as after the market is closed. And that's really important because at those moments, uh, you're not in the moment, there aren't all these emotions swirling about, and you can kind of take a step back, clear your mind, and objectively make decisions on entry points, position sizes, um, your exit strategy as well. And it's just so, so important to set those things in motion and have that plan. Uh, so going forward, when the market is actually open, you're all about just execution. You don't have to make completely new decisions. And on the weekend, you basically want to study, create your battle plan, and there's no excuses for not really doing this. It just takes one, two hours. Um, and if you're not getting the results that you want um, and you don't have a weekend routine or a proper weekend routine, uh, this is a very easy thing to implement that will drastically improve your results and your consistency as well. Um, and basically you wanna train to trade like an athlete. Athletes are all about self-analyzing. Um, baseball players go out, study their swings, uh, work on their fundamentals after um, the game and before the game and when they're not playing. And that's why they're continuously improving. They're always working to improve on their weaknesses. And basically trading is exactly the same way. We're all about performing and we have to study ourselves and set plans in motion. Uh, so when we're actually in the moment during the training day, we know exactly what we need to do when we need to do it. So that's how professional traders prepare. And now let's get into the key elements of a weekly routine. Uh, first of all, you want to review past trades and how the week went overall. Uh, grade yourself on your decisions, not necessarily on whether a trade was successful or not, but rather if you made the correct buy and sell decisions. Um, also, you want to determine the market conditions and basically decide how aggressive should you be the upcoming week. Um, and this is basically determining whether we're extended for proper buy points, um, are we in a correction, or are the markets uh, trending nicely and a lot of stocks are setting up. Uh, that will all determine how exposed you should be and how aggressive you should be with trades the upcoming week. Uh, lastly, we want to focus on idea identification. Uh, you want to set levels, position sizes, stops. All these can be decided before the market even opens the next week. Um, and this way you have a focus list. So going into the week, you have um, basically a bunch of key ideas um, that you just want to execute on when the market opens. So that is a bunch of key elements of a weekly routine. And now let's get into the details of each of these. So first of all, getting into reviewing the week and trades. You wanna ask yourself, how was your execution? Did you follow your plan? Did you buy where you wanted to buy? Did you set stop losses right away? All of that goes into this. Um, you wanna also track your emotions. Um, were you experiencing tilt? Were you revenge trading? All this is really important to keep track of. And so you can kind of be aware of it in the next time around and hopefully improve um, if you did make a mistake because of these emotions. Uh, did you make good buys and sells? Once again, this isn't about the actual performance of the trade, but rather if you made the proper trading decisions. Uh, what mistakes did you make? This is really important. Uh, you always wanna be identifying weaknesses within your trading system, uh, so the next time you can be just a little bit better. Um, how did you perform and what can you do better are both essential questions. Uh, next up, determining market conditions. Uh, basically, there's kind of three components to this. Uh, first, how have your recent trades done? Uh, what feedback is the market giving you? Have you gone stopped out uh, very quickly the last few trades? If so, scale back exposure, uh, be a little bit more selective with setups. Uh, the market isn't quite right or you yourself are not trading uh, right either. That could be an option as well. And either way, you want to scale back and wait for conditions and your trading to improve. Uh, you also want to ask yourself, how are the market leaders performing? How is the health and breadth of market leadership? Uh, this is often an excellent indicator and a leading indicator uh, to the actual market indexes. Uh, so you want to keep track of how many leaders are doing well. Um, are they trending above moving averages? Are they breaking out of new bases? 
or are they breaking key moving averages and seeing a lot of distribution? Uh, those are very important things to note. You also want to go ahead and track the potential leadership groups. Uh, how many are there? And basically, what are the leading stocks within those leading groups? Uh, you also want to ask yourself, are there many quality setups? And what is the trend of the key indexes? Are we trending nicely above a rising 21 and 50 SMA? Um, or are we breaking those key moving averages and seeing an influx of distribution days? Um, all these should go back to uh, kind of guiding you in terms of how exposed and aggressive you should be in the market. So next up, let's talk about idea identification. And basically you wanna set up a standard routine to identify high potential trades. And this could 100% vary depending on your style. If you're a day trader, you like volatility, but if you're more of a swing position trader of growth stocks like me, I'm looking for great earnings, sales margins, and a very strong technical setup um, like we saw with AMD right here as it broke out uh, from the bottom of this base through this DTL here. And to do this, you basically wanna combine screens for fundamental and technical criteria with also going through a bunch of charts by hand and picking out those best setups each week. Uh, you wanna keep an update key watch list like at TL Private, uh, which is our TradeLine mentorship program. The links, if you're interested, are down below. Uh, we have the IPO watch list, the Gappers watch list, and the High Tight Flag watch list, which keep us focused on the highest potential stocks uh, during that current market cycle. Uh, lastly, you wanna build a focus list. And as I said before, you can set all the position management points beforehand, uh, levels to buy, to sell, uh, position sizing, all of that should be decided before the market even opens. Uh, so that's a brief run through of your weekend routine. Uh, once again, I 100% recommend setting one up if you haven't already. Uh, this is really a huge step to becoming a more consistent um, trader as well as performing better in general. And here are a few reminders. Uh, the weekends are when most of the work is done. You wanna set yourself up for success by reviewing the past week and preparing for the next one. And a weekend routine is a key component of becoming a professional trader and treating trading like a business. Uh, so overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the Trailline channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.